بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful الحمد لله رب العالمين Praise be to Allah Lord of the worlds الرحمن الرحيم The beneficent the merciful Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. Show us the straight path. The path of those whom you have favored. Not those who earn your anger, nor those who go astray. According to different population estimates, world population today hovers between six and a quarter and six and a half billion people. Additionally, demographical sources suggest that roughly 25% of this population follows the religion of Islam. Islam is said to be the most practiced religion in the world. What follows is an exploration into this claim and what it means to be a practitioner of Islam or a Muslim. A Muslim can worship God in a number of different manners. However, of these different forms of worship, according to Islam, five have been mandated by God himself. These five types of worship are referred to as the five pillars of Islam and are required devotions of all Muslims. In short, these sacred pillars of Islam are as follows. Firstly, there is the Shahada or confession of faith. Each Muslim must bear witness that there is only one God and that Muhammad is the last of a long line of prophets stretching from Adam through Moses and Abraham and including Jesus, peace be upon them all. Second, there is fasting. All Muslims are required to fast from the break of dawn to the onset of dusk throughout the month of Ramadan. This month is considered holy because it was when God first began revealing the Quran to Muhammad. The third form of worship is called zakat. This occurs once a year when Muslims pay 2.5% of their wealth to people in need. Fourthly, if one has the means to do so, one must visit Mecca once in his or her lifetime. This visit is called the Hajj. And lastly, there is the most visible form of worship, the Salat, or daily prayers. There are five mandatory prayers and many other optional ones that sometimes border on being required. On TV, you may have seen clips of Muslims bowing down and putting their heads to the ground. This is a part of the Salat. As you can see from these five pillars, structured and mandatory worship permeates Muslim life through and through, from the beginning to the very end. Let's focus on the Salat, or daily prayers, and explore its various aspects. Before each Salat, Muslims cleanse themselves. This action is called wudu and can be thought of as a means of increasing one's spiritual receptivity, like cleaning up a battery's connectors for better conduction of electricity. Next, no matter the location, when Muslims do Salat, they have to face the direction of the closest route to Mecca. So in Chicago, this is to the northeast. The method of offering prayer, its different positions and script, as well as when it is performed, is essentially the same all over the world. While a part of the Salat is fixed and never changes, other parts of the Salat are flexible and usually change each time one prays. In the fixed part, all Muslims recite the same verses, no matter if they are in Africa, Singapore, or Chicago. Broadly speaking, during this section of the Salat, Muslims praise God and ask not to be misled, but for God to guide them on the straight path that leads to Him. In the variable part of the daily prayers, parts of the Quran are randomly picked and recited. This recitation of the Quran is viewed as God's response to the previous request for guidance. It is this variable part of the prayer that makes each performance of Salat a unique experience. For a Muslim, Performing the Salat functions as a dialogue between the believers and their Creator. It is this dialogue that leaves the faithful enlightened, serene, and well-rooted in their beliefs. As mentioned before, Muslims pray five times daily. The Islamic day begins at sunset with the Salat called Maghrib. The second Salat, called Isha, begins after dusk ends and the darkness of night has arrived. This is about two hours after sunset. The third one, the Fajr Salat, is the most precious and rewarding. It happens during dawn, before sunrise. 
Interestingly, many different non-Muslim spiritual traditions attest to the efficacy of early morning prayer in nurturing spiritual enlightenment. The Quran also stresses the importance of this prayer. The fourth prayer, Zahr, is just after noontime, and the last Salat, Asr, is offered late in the afternoon when the shadows have doubled. And at the sunset, the cycle begins again. Now imagine, as the sun sets in Chicago, people are praying Maghrib. At the very same moment, Muslims bend down for Asr prayer.